Hey guys, if you are looking to build your custom PC, then I think you will find this video series useful. In this series, I will have multiple videos where I will be walking you through uh, this entire process of building your custom PC. As you can see, I have all these custom parts and I'm going to use them and I will put them together to build a PC which is primarily uh, driven for the purpose of deep learning and machine learning. But as far as process is concerned, you can use it for any purpose. So whether you are making a gaming PC or a, you know, video editing PC, it all boils down to your components. So for example, I'm using a i5 8600K CPU with 1066 GB graphic card. If you are looking for something uh, for heavy gaming, then you will, you can probably go ahead with a higher graphic card. But as far as putting them, uh, as far as putting everything together and that process, that will remain same. So um, let's start with the process. I will, uh, don't worry, I will show you how to mount everything on the motherboard. So let's open this box. I have just got it from Amazon. It has got few components. And I have, um, this is my first PC build. But in the entire process, I have learned that it's better to hunt for components don't go for just you know one website and bring uh, buy everything together um, new egg amazon micro center they all have uh, you know separate deals and if you shop around then i think you can save a really good amount of money maybe 10 to 20 percent and that money can be spent on you know better computer case or better power supply things like that so it's important to be sensitive um, to your demand your requirement and the budget because if you go to just one shop, whether it's online or offline store and buy everything from there, chances are you will end up losing money. First, we have EVGA 650 watt power supply. EVGA, Corsair, these are good brands. It's better to you know invest in your power supply. It will take you a long way. Um, so it's, it's really a good brand. Then we have Hyper 212 Evo a CPU cooling fan. If you are looking for something like liquid cooling, then I think I will suggest you to refer to some other video for that installation. Um, then we have Arctic Thermal Paste and um, I have also bought this uh, computer, sorry, fan connector uh, in case you need it. And of course, Asus Z370A motherboard. So it's a prime series. Z Three seventy A is really a good one, all round, well balanced. It comes with everything you need. So I will be reviewing it now. So if um, you are looking for information on this particular brand and this particular motherboard, um, you can continue with uh, rest of the video. If you are interested in in some other brands um, motherboard, then probably you can skip this video and watch. Um, the next video where I will be uh, putting everything on this motherboard and that process more or less is um, kind of same. You just have to refer to your user manual which comes with all these motherboards. In case of Asus, uh, I went with this brand because this is well established and their BIOS is really user friendly. I have seen quite a few videos where, I mean, it's really user friendly. I mean, this is my first PC and I'm actually editing this video right now on this build. So the entire process of setup was really easy. Um, you just have to, you know, follow the steps. This picture itself, the backside displays uh, all the major ports. So it's very good, you know, place to start. So if you are buying your new motherboard, spend some time on the cover because it will give you some idea and it's better to have some idea before you jump ahead uh, with the build. So packaging is fine. I mean, Asus really provide good information. In Inside the package, we have the user manual, which is really good. Um, if you get stuck at some point, if you need to troubleshoot something, that user guide is really helpful. Um, I was having a tough time figuring out the, you know, power um, front panel uh, point. So I went through the user guide and it was fairly easy. So, because all motherboards have few differences, Asus, Gigabyte and other brands, MSI, 
um, there are few differences so if you are using other brands make sure to follow uh, their user guides um, i'm not sure about other brands but in case of asus um, the user manual is really nice so now let's open this and take out our motherboard but first let's go through the items inside the box so this is our io shield view we are going to use it in our box this is our sata cable this one this one is the usb cable and then um asus motherboards comes with you know some this additional fan so this bracket is for that installation uh, i'm not going to use it but uh, if you want um, this bracket makes it fairly easy uh, for that installation now we have the sli bridge um, so if you are planning to use that um, that will help you with with that and then of course uh, we have this front io connector which i haven't used uh, but yes um, if you want and this is really helpful and then we have this cpu uh, asus uh, provide this additional uh, cpu installation kit uh, i'm not going to use it i haven't used it but yes uh, for those who are not comfortable they can probably use it so you will first mount your cpu in this socket and then you will put this in your motherboard so um, a good you know something good to have and then we have a voucher for coupon and then the user guide so the overall the packaging and the box contains really good stuff then we have these uh, screws which we will be using uh, to mount our m.2 ssd drive this is our fan installation guide so that bracket which i showed you earlier uh, this guide is for that so if you are planning to use that bracket um, you will have you will find useful guidance here and then we have the user manual so i think you should as i have mentioned this is really useful and you you have to refer this later uh, especially uh, at the time of connecting your cables and then we have the cd so if you don't have internet access then i think it's better if you have the drive optical drive um, the cd will help you with all the installation of drives all the driver installations okay so now let's place our motherboard box and look at the motherboard itself let's take this out okay this is this is our power uh, on button on the motherboard which makes it really easy to turn it on in case you want to test something this is our audio card these are our four ram slots it supports up to 64 gb these are ddr4 and i think they can support up to 4000 megahertz this is our power connector 24 pin so And you have to pay careful attention to these ports because uh, you know their names and their information is written there and we will use that information to connect our uh, power connectors these slots for our uh, video graphic cards the first will support maximum speed up to 16 then the uh, this one uh, support maximum up to 16 and the next two and uh, they only support up to eight I think so. if you are planning to use only one video card make sure you use this one this is the first slot which will provide you maximum speed then this is our m.2 slot uh, we can install our m.2 um, ssd drive below this um, steel plate um, so it really uh, provide you good uh, facility this is a really good functionality because it comes with heat sink and this is away from cpu uh, which is the, you know really hot area of the motherboard so now we have these you know all the ios on the motherboard and if you are planning to use a graphic card make sure that you use ports on that graphic card to connect to your 
a monitor if you use these hdmi cables then you will get the standard motherboard um, resolution which is i think 1080 pixels uh, for higher resolution you should be using the hdmi port on your graphic card the rest you can see are the usb cables then we have you know uh, for few points for dvi and audio we have one more m.2 slot so uh, but this is quite close to cpu you can see so if you are pl planning to use only one make sure that you use the first one which i showed you um, these points will help you with identification so you can see we have three points i'll be using 2280 uh, so but if you are planning if you are planning to buy a m.2 ssd drive make sure that you refer to your motherboard manual before purchasing that it should be 2280 or whatever number it's written here you can see there are three points so that will be the length of your m.2 uh, ssd drive we will be installing our uh, cpu in this socket and we are not going to use that installer and as i mentioned you should be using this slot the second m.2 slot because this is away from the cpu and the entire hot zone so i will now open it and show you uh, basically there is a heat sink which helps with absorbing all the heat which also helps in uh, performance so if you are only going to install one m.2 i think you should be using this one so right now i will only open and show you uh, i will do the installation later after installing cpus and other stuff so now if we open it uh, you can see that we have the similar slot but this is the heat sink and rest of it is same so we this is the slot and then we have three points for 2280 and other lengths um, so and this is a very important information if you buy something which is not compatible with your motherboard uh, you will have tough time so make sure you uh, pay attention to it so that's it i mean all the ports uh, all those smaller points you know for fan and all those things are very small and they are kind of unique to your motherboard so um, i will suggest you to go through the user manual for specific details but as far as installation process is concerned that is more or less same so i will suggest you to uh, keep watching and in next video i will be doing the installation of fan cpu and other stuff on motherboard and for my feedback about asus uh, z370 prime a motherboards if you are looking for a good budget motherboard i don't think you can go wrong with it it comes loaded with everything supports up to 64 gb of ram uh, comes with two m.2 ssd drive slots so there's um, enough of everything uh, and of course you can always expand it so overall it's a good motherboard and as i mentioned earlier the asus uh, bios is really good so it's, it doesn't take much to start with it especially for beginners like me so i think you will really like it especially if you're not looking to spend you know a lot of money on your motherboard i mean if it matters there's also you know support for rgb lights and things like that so overall it's a good buy let me know if you have any specific question about it or if you are planning to buy some other uh, motherboard in the same category also please share your suggestions thank you